On my YouTube page, on one of the dating advice to entrepreneurs, essentially the main course or video that spawned this course, someone left this sad tale of his brother-in-law or brother getting their bank accounts frozen. Let's talk about this. This is how it goes. You are served, right? So essentially, you have a choice. Many men make the wrong choice, which is to not go to court, which is to ignore it and think that it will go away. This hands down is one of the worst things you can do. What happens is the court takes offense to you not showing up. It's like you don't give a damn. You don't care. So we don't care about you and they're going to rip you. So he went on, it's like his accounts got frozen and some other stuff. But essentially, these were situations of men who had child support obligations out there in the wild that they did not handle. So let's say it's five, it's 10, let's say 15 years, you know, in the past, right? Well, the interest clock is ticking. The amount that is owed is steadily going up. This does not go away. It doesn't student loans and child support and taxes and taxes. There is a way that you can get rid of taxes, but it takes a long time. But student loans and child support will follow you to the grave. Now, the mother can forgive the child support. She can sign a piece of paper and say he doesn't owe this. I forgive it. And it's gone. A lot of folks don't know that. But once again, the sad story where his accounts were frozen and I hit him up and I said, he ignored the child support subpoena, didn't he? He's like, yep. All right. So let's say you are broke dick Danny and you ignore this. And what's going to happen is they're going to have a court date and the court date's going to go like, you don't show up the first time. They're not going to do anything. They're going to have one to two, possibly three court dates where none's going to happen. They're going to like, okay, he's not here. Let's reset. He's not here. Let's reset. So essentially, if you know, depend upon your state or municipality or whatever, you're going to have literally 60 days to almost a year to show up before they do anything. So all of these stores are like, I was done wrong. They, they trying to get my money. Nope, nope, nope. You had chances. Now, in the event which this does happen and the courts are complicit with it is let's say you moved and a service processor goes to your old address and someone else was the door and they throw papers at them. So from that standpoint, it looks like you were served, right? Even though you weren't. Now there's a remedy to this, but you must go to court and say, look, I wasn't served. And then it should be dismissed. Notice I said it should be because once they get you in that system, they don't want to let you go. So one of the things that you should do, and you know, I'll speak about my situation, my last address that she knows about, I don't live there anymore. And for, you know, since I know how this thing goes, I keep a personal checking account with like 500 bucks in it as an alert mechanism to if anything happens. So if the money in that checking account disappears, I know what happened. So I'm like, oh, and I know exactly where it came from. So I would contact the state of New York by letter, by certified mail and say, look, uh, I will first go into the system and find out if there's a case against me. And once I would, I would email them, I would mail them certified letter and saying, look, you have uh, started proceedings against me. I was not served and I demand that these proceedings be dropped or you must provide in writing that I was served and you must provide proof. So all they're going to do is set a court date and they're going to bring her in there and they're going to bring the process server in there. And then you could like, you weren't served. It should go away. But once again, once they get you in that system, they're going to try to keep you. So your response is I was not served. That's the only reason I'm here. I'm not turning in any paper. I want this dismissed. And if you cannot dismiss this, I want it in writing so I have legal papers for my federal lawsuit because they can't just serve you 
and you not be served, then, okay, well, we use this false or dubious service to get you in court. No, no, they can't do that. They will try to do that. They will try to do that. But since you have taken this course and you know what to say, you know what to do. So once again, from the top, you find out that you were not served for child support. You, you didn't come to an address that you were at. Then you would find out about the system. Then you would go ahead and you should be able to look up your case number and stuff online. Put your case number and stuff up there and send to the court just a very short letter testimony. I was not served. This case is improper and it should be dropped. And that's it. That You don't get into the he shit. No, 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 no. That's it. And then they set a hearing. And at that point, you submit I wasn't served and you make them bring the process server there or prove that the process server served you. And then they can't, since you weren't served, they can't do that. And then they're going to like, well, since we're here, would you like to be part of these proceedings? And at this point, you're just like, your honor, I am here as a legal remedy of prevention to correct a wrong. I am not granting consent and I want this matter dismissed. Then shut up. That's it. That, that's all you got. You do not get into explaining. No, 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 no. Because see, when you start talking, you create leverage points that they can leverage you into jurisdiction. So the less you say, the better off you will be. So do not ignore. Do not forget. Because there are guys out there who have not one, not two, but three child support cases going against them that they did not show up. And if the courts look into your other child support cases and see that you just didn't show up to any of them, they are going to rip you apart. They don't care about your dreams. They don't care if you have any money. They don't care about the gout in your knee. They're coming after you hard. So once again, do not ignore service. Do not ignore service. And once again, do not ignore service.